Welcome to VBlog40, Business 135, fun with Excel and math. Hey, we're in Chapter 7. Chapter 6 was the math of buying. Chapter 7 is the math of selling. And here are our objectives. And in the green are the three main categories we are going to talk about. Markup. Markup. What is markup? You go to a store and you, the, the store bought the milk for $1 and sold it for $1.50. The markup would be 50 cents. The problem is wholesalers, manufacturers always talk about markup on cost, markup based on cost. And the people doing the selling, whether it's Safeway or Foot Locker or a kite store selling kites and boomerangs, they always talk about markup based on sell price. So we need to look at both of these. Markup based on cost, markup based on sell price. The only difference, we're going to have one formula we're going to use in, throughout this whole chapter uh, for cost and s markup on cost and markup on sell price. And the only difference is which is the base. Remember from chapter 3, there's the base and then there's two parts that relate to that base. The only difference when we talk about cost, cost is the base. When we talk about sell price, sell price is the base. Uh, so we're going to talk markup on cost, markup on sell price, and then the basic formula for markdown, which we actually already talked about in the chapter 3. All right, let's click on our next sheet tab, terms. Oh, what is a cost? Price paid to supplier, manufacturer, or wholesaler after trade discounts and cash discounts have been taken. Shipping insurance costs are included. So that's the cost. Again, so you're at uh, Foot Locker and the shoes cost 50 bucks and they sell them for 80. If they paid 50, that's the cost. That is the cost. The sell price would be 80. Sell price, price offered to the customer. Now, we're always going to be referring to the difference between these two, right? So if the cost, shoes cost 50 and the sell price was 80, then the markup is 30. But you also hear margin and gross profit. Ew, gross profit. But markup is what they talk about here. Hey, here's our basic uh, markup formula. Cost of product, right, right? The 50 bucks for the shoes plus the markup, 30 bucks, equals the selling price, 80. We also, if we have the sell price and the cost, right, we know the sell price is 80 and the cost is 50, we can figure out the markup. Let's go to our next sheet tab. Basic markup, that's the name of the sheet tab. And here it is, we have our three basic formulas here. Cost plus markup equals sell price. Sell price, mi oh, minus the markup, that'll give us a cost. And sell price minus cost equals the markup. And we have these three because at various times you will have two pieces of information and you want to figure out the, uh, the remaining third piece. Okay, cost plus a markup equals sell price. Let's go ahead and click in the cell here. What's the formula? How about alt equals 1250 plus 675, enter 1925. How about here, sell price, oh, minus the markup will give us a cost. So we'll click in that cell right there. Equals 1925 minus the 675. The cost is 1250. Hey, the sell price, we have the sell price and cost. Can we figure out the markup? You betcha. Equals the sell price minus the cost. Now, let's go to our next uh, sheet tab. Um, but before we do that, let's just remind ourselves about something. I'm going to click here in cell A9, and I want you to type mark up on cost. And then enter, enter, just so there's some space, space between the two since they're so different. And we'll write markup on sell price. Selling price, sell price, same thing. All right, you ready? Now, in when you're out there working, whether it's in manufacturing, wholesaling, or out there in retail, they're always talking in percent. So we're saying, hey, what's the markup? Oh, 20%. What's the markup? 33%. You always want to say, hey, what are you talking about? Is it markup on cost or markup on sell price? And the only difference is the base. Now, look at this. The markup, 675, 675, 675. Mm, 
well, however you slice it, whatever industry you're in, still a markup of 675. But now, what if we compare that 675? Because look, here's the sell price, right? Then there's a uh, two parts that make it up. But we could do equally. We could say that we started with the cost. Remember, on an increase problem, if we add, here's the base. If we add, that's the increase amount. That's one part. That's the increase amount. And here's the much larger part. So part, part, base. That was the increase problem. So what I want to point out before we go on and do and lots of problems for markup on cost and markup on sell price, I just want to take this 675 and compare it to this and then compare it to this. When you do the division, you'll get two different percents, right? So what do people in the wholesale industry, wholesale, wholesale or manufacturer industry, demand for manufacturer. And markup on sell price, this would be retail. Again, they're always going to, maybe I spelled that wrong. Luckily, there's F7. Yes. Okay, so markup on cost. 675 is going to be used here and here. The only difference is what we compare that 675 to. So let's click in B9 and say equals 675 divided by 1250. That's going to give us markup on cost. I want you to control enter. There it is, 54. And we can go ahead and I'm going to increase the decimals just to see what it is there. And I'm going to add a percent. And we can even round here too. Click back up here in R-O-U-N-D. And we'll just get this out of the way right now. When we get a, a point uh, Five four. That's fifty four percent. So if we want to have something like fifty four point zero zero, that would be to the fourth position. So when we round doing our percents, we're going to round to the fourth position. That's how many decimal points to the left? I'm sorry, to the right. I'm dyslexic. The other left. How many decimal places to the right do we want it to go? So there it would be. 54%, and then we can increase our decimal. Now, in this case, it doesn't matter because that zero, there's a zero, zero there. But later, we'll get some pretty messy decimals. And when you're uh, rounding for a percent you, and you want to show these two decimals right here, this is to the fourth, because really this number is 0.54, but this has a format on it. Hey, let's do the same thing here, but for markup on sell price. Hey, we're going to say equals and click on that same 675. But instead of dividing by the cost, we're going to compare it and divide by the sell price. Whoa, there's one of our messy ones right there, 0.350649. So I'm going to click in that cell and come up here in R-O-U-N-D, open parentheses, go to the end. Comma four. Let me just escape here. Notice one, two, three, four. So we really want to round. If we want to see 35 percent point something something, that's why it's a four right there. Because the number part of it is here's the decimal, and then one, two, three, four. So that's why we're rounding with a four. Comma four. It's not to the penny anymore. It's to that. Uh, fourth decimal position to the right. And then we're going to go ahead and add a percent and increase the decimal. Now if you keep increasing, you can see that round function got rid of that there. All right, so and that's the basic gist of this whole chapter. And um, I used to work in the manufacturing industry. We made boomerangs and we'd go to the kite trade shows. <laughs> and the reason why you have to know both and why the people I worked with had to know both what markup on cost was and markup on sell price is because all the manufacturers would be talking about markup on cost and all the retailers would be talking about markup on sell price. So you had to know both to be able to talk with these people you were trying to sell product to. So there it is. And the whole difference is what? Let's click in this cell and hit F2. That green one is cost. Enter, enter, enter. F2. That green one is sell price whole um, gist of this chapter. Enter. Now let's click on this next sheet tab. I have, and there's a bunch of great PDFs for both chapter 6 and 7, 
And this workbook, as you notice, is like almost two megabytes. I put a lot of the pictures in this one. I don't do that too often because it uh, it really does blow up the size of the workbook. But here it is. Here are our formulas. And what's nice about this sheet, or if you, you print these two out from the PDFs, these two have all of the tricks you're going to need for your basic markup on cost or markup on sell price. Let's look at this. We still have cost plus markup equals sell price. Notice down here, too, for the markup on sell price, cost plus markup equals sell price. That little plus, that little equation right there is the same. The only difference is when we calculate the percents, right? And again, you have to be able to go, if you're working in business, you have to be able to go back and forth fluently between the two. Look at here, color code and everything. For markup on cost, it's the cost that's the base. So when we get busy calculating our percents here, we're going to say markup divided by cost, and that's what's going to go right there. Down here for sell price, the base is different. The base is the sell price. The, the retailers all, always want to know for every $1 they sell, what is the markup? What is the uh, gross profit? So the base is sell price. So look at this. Cost plus markup equals sell price. The dollars are still boop, boop, right here the same. But when you do your percentage right there, you're going to say markup divided by sell price. The only difference between the two is base. Now let's look at an example. This one's nice here because i got all the little calculations on the side here. Boop, boop, boop. And what we're going to be doing in this chapter is they'll give us like one piece of information here and one piece of information here, and they'll want us to, to fill in all the blanks, right? So they'll give us one here and one here, and they'll want us to fill in all the blanks. Let's look at an example here, right? Here's cost. Markup on cost, base, base. Um, markup is five, five bucks, and the thing costs ten bucks. The wholesalers and the manufacturer would say, oh, 5 divided by 10, that's 50%. But the retailers go, uh-uh-uh, no, no. 5 out of that $15, we sold it for $15, 5 bucks was the markup. So 5 divided by 15 comes out to be 0.333333333. If you want to round it, which we will do, it would be um, 0.3%. 33.33 percent, or we could express it this way, uh, 33 and one third percent. All right, let's click on our next sheet tab. Again, these are invaluable. Uh, these two little handouts here. There's a, a, so let's click on our next uh, sheet tab. Markup on cost. We're going to do our first problem here, and you can see I have a little. Uh, template here, um, and again, this middle part for the dollars is going to be the same for uh, markup on cost and markup on sell price, but this little template um, we're going to use for all of our cost problems, and here's our assumptions up here, so we'll just type in the numbers we know and solve for the things we don't know. Now, let's look at our first example here. Example, this may be a, a little bit hard to see, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Okay, Cost of the boomerang is $20, and the sell price is 30 and they want you to find, hey, what's the markup in dollars? What's the percent of markup based on cost? And then the percent of selling price based on cost. Remember, selling price based on cost, this isn't the markup on sell price. This is still cost. Everything's related to the base cost. right? So here's how we did it by hand. We just pl we took our little template here. We threw the 20 there. We threw the 30 there, right? Cost and the price. Now, the first thing we can do is solve for markup. So I put a little yellow there. That's what we're solving for. So we come down here. Sell price minus cost equals markup. So we take 30 minus 20, 10. Boom. We put it down there back into our template. Now, once we have all these, we can calculate our percents. So scroll over here. Okay, We're going to solve for this one now. So what do we do? Remember, this is a, this is a part. So is this. Here's the base. So we can take a part divided by base, and that will give us a rate. Part divided by base equals rate. In this case, we have names, not just part and base. Markup divided by cost. So 10 divided by 20 is 1 half. 0.5, we convert it to a percent, 50%. So I take that, slap it down into our template. right? Markup on cost rate. Now, we know what to solve for this. Well, look at this. 100 plus 50 equals 150. You also could take uh, 30 divided by 20 
and get your 1.5 and then convert it to a percent, which would be 150. So there's always a few different ways to do it. In this case, this certainly is um, straightforward because we're just adding. Look at that. 100 plus 50 equals 150 percent. Throw that down there, and we have solved for everything. Look at this. From our two numbers, 30 and 20, we solve for everything else. And this little setup here, you know, and after you do it a bunch of times with this setup, you kind of, you'll think of it that way, and so you'll be able to do it maybe even without the template. Hey, let's go ahead and see how to do this in Excel up here. Make this a little bit smaller here. All right, so here's our assumptions, the cost rate, markup rate. The cost rate, what is that? If this is a cost problem, cost rate is 100%, right? The base is always 100%. So I'm going to put 100% there. Ooh, looks like it's already pre-formatted. And then enter, enter, enter. Oh, this is cost. Are we given that? Yep, 20 bucks. So I'm going to put a 20 there. Markup, not given it. Sell price, we are given it, 30 bucks. I'm going to put a 30. Now I'm going to come down to our template, and I am going to say equals this 100. The cost, I'm going to say equals this cost, enter, enter, and then equals this 30, enter. Now I'm going to solve, we have the 20, our 30, and our 100%. Now I'm going to solve for markup first, equals, and it, you click right here, it may be hard to click on it, you could always use your arrow key, down arrow will grab it. So $30 minus, and we are, Selection white thick cross cursor can click right there, but if you're having a hard time, then use your arrow key. I arrowed up. Enter. Once we have our formula, enter. There it is, 10 bucks. Now we can solve for our markup rate because the part divided by the base equals our rate for markup. Equals 10 divided by 20. And I am going to use a round here. Actually, come up here. That's kind of hard to do. It may take, take a couple clicks. There we go. You can always, once you click up there, you can use your arrow keys to move side to side. And then round open parentheses. Go to the end comma. And how many are we going to do? Four for our rates because we're going to uh, show the two percentage and then point something something. And that's so when we get to our uh 33s and 66s, um, we can show a couple decimals for our percent. All right, and then close parentheses, control, enter, 50%. Notice it wouldn't affect us there, but on the problems, if we're already doing our rounds on the problems where it does matter, we won't get into trouble. All right, now once we have a 100 and a 50, we can just add. How about alt equals? Cool. There's our little template. All right, I'm going to click on our next markup on cost. We're going to, we have uh, four markup on cost. And when we come back to our next VBOG, we'll do a couple more markup on cost.